Don't know what this is about, but I know I want to read it. Can't put my finger on why I want to read it. I just know that I do. Hello, this is Larry and welcome to episode 17 of Larry in the Hole. If this is your first time here, let me explain it to you. So every so often I go into a store and I spend $40 on brand new sealed Yu-Gi-Oh product and see if I can make a profit or plus. And today we're at lovely Barnes and Noble in my hometown. So let's see what we can find down here. If you like what I do here at Larry in the Hole and like what we do at Team APS, please make sure to like this video, share, subscribe to us. Let's get into it. Do to do to do. Like I was telling Paul, this is one of my favorite places to be ever. Like I could spend a whole day here and just bask in the smell of fresh coffee and the pages of like books. I love books. Mm-hmm. I once almost failed a class in high school because all I would, all would do was read the entire time I was in there. Last time I was in here, they had something. Ooh, look at all the Studio Ghibli stuff. Mm. What is I, this? That's Studio Ghibli. It's oh. Kiki's Delivery Service. Um, I don't, I think all of this is Kiki's Delivery Service. My Neighbor Totoro, my, one of my favorite movies of all time, Spirited Away. Interesting. I love that, it was one of the like five movies that ever made me cry. I feel like Paul would be the type to like get one of these and just like spend the whole day trying to solve it. What is this? It, it's a like, it's a puzzle. You have to separate it. Oh. I guess I can say this, it's Easter. So my family's all together and I'm known as like the game guy. Like I bring home games and we all play. Um, and they were asking me before I came, they're like, oh, you wanna bring games? You wanna bring games? I'm like, yes, I'm gonna bring games. Cause I planned on it and that's the one I'm gonna buy. Dixit. What is Dixit? It's a, it's a, they have, it has a whole bunch of like different pieces of art. And like one person like picks one of theirs and they describe it using like a sentence or a story. And everyone else like throws in a card and everyone has to pick your card based on your description of it. <laughs> this is exactly what I wanted. I'm so happy now. All right, forget Larry and the whole bye. I'm just buying this. You remember that childlike wonder books used to give you? Like you just like pick your favorite, I guess like genre or whatever. And you just spend time, like especially if it was like a long book series with like 12 books and you just, ah, mm -hmm. I don't get to do that anymore. Even though I have two favorite authors. Um, John Grisham, cause he writes legal thrillers and police. Um, and Dan Brown, author of Da Vinci Code and all that. See, if, if I wasn't so ashamed, I'd read romance section stuff. Wait, why are you ashamed? What's wrong with reading romance? I don't know. I mean, there's like a lot of good stuff. Because I'm a big guy. I'm like, oh, sappy romance. Ah, yeah, well, there are big guys with weirder. Uh, I mean, you play Yu-Gi-Oh. Gotta keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. well, look, Paul, the manga section, something you know nothing about. Here's your favorite. Here's your boy. Yeah, man, yeah. I love my hero. Yeah, that's your boy right there, isn't it? Oh, well, that manga's going kind of crazy right now. I, I don't know, it is. Don't know what this is about, but I know I want to read it. Can't put my finger on why I want to read it, I just know that I do. Is there a Yu-Gi-Oh here? That's the question. Um, it might be. Oh, they got three, four. You remember, ooh, this is a good story. You remember when people used to rush to buy some of these? Because they had like, our, yes, like the only time you could get like Utopia Lightning. Mm -hmm. was through this manga issue. Yeah, I remember Black Rose Moonlight Dragon was one of those. That too. See, card inside. What about cards in this one? I don't remember. I think you can look it up. Probably a crystal want. wing, like synchro dragon or clear wing. Yeah. This one might be the DDD Doom King guy. I actually didn't even know that Arc 5 had a manga. Yeah, that's what, that's where all the, like the Utopia, the lightning thing. Wait, no it didn't, that was Exel. Back when we had jump promos. Do we still have jump promos? Uh, they recently got rid of them, I think. You Two Strikes Back. Do you remember going to see that movie in theaters? Uh, I never got to saw Me Too in theaters. I just watched it like on like VHS or whatever. I remember, and uh, that was like I guess like early two thousands. Just everything when everything was fine and happy, and when you went to the movie theater, they gave you like that secret Mew card. Yeah, it's like Yu-Gi-Oh! the movie when they gave you like the Sphinxes. Mm -hmm, I got all of them. Would you eat a chocolate frog? They say that they actually have them at the Harry Potter world, but that it's like kind of hard to eat because it's literally just milk chocolate and it's huge. And if you don't actually like that, mm -hmm. 
I guess you got it's something you got to eat like right then and there, otherwise yeah, it gets. I stopped actually reading them halfway through here. This one was such. This one drags. A drag to read. Yeah, Order of the Phoenix drags. I was like, I'm, I'm, I was like, give or take about this much, and I was like, I don't know what's going on. Yeah. I don't know what's happening. Let me just set that thing down. It's saying because it's like it's the most important book, but like it's the most boring. But it came right off the like the most exciting yeah. one. Yeah. Okay. Now to the good parts. We got. Hmm. This may be all they have. That's magic. What's up? Magic. I guess this is it. I got what six blazing vortex two genesis impact that's eight so we're missing two i guess if they're still the 399 we're two packs short from our 40 dollar budget speed duel i like it but nothing here has value i'm sad that people can't seem to get rid of these two structure decks i find this endearing this was i guess a cool throwback to the past but i understand it was why. cool yeah it was did you like spirit charmers you dueled alec with them i would build the spirit charmer deck myself i just um i'm missing a couple of the familiar the newer familiar things mm -hmm. and the only thing i like you mentioned and i was like yeah that was weird they don't have any of the link monsters in there genesis impact of course you got the evil live twins dry twins but of course you got what collector's rares in these um I think the collector's rare prices have dipped a little bit. I want to say it's Nightmare Unicorn, last time I checked. It's Nightmare Unicorn, then Phoenix, and then... Probably some of the twins. And of course it's Drytron Nova. Still, like, expensive, $35 for no reason. Well, I don't say for no reason, but you would think after Drytron got hit, they would it would have gone down. Nope. Yeah. Still waiting for that new Xyz to come out next set. And of course we got Blazing Vortex. Pot of Prosperity, of course. Underworld Goddess and the um the wind hand trap dragon thing. If they're the normal $3.99 market price that puts us at the $32 mark, y'all have to forgive us. I tried, but I mean this is all they have, which I'm not complaining, but you know, you gotta make do with what we can do. So I got my Starbucks drink, I got my apple tart, I got my cards, but one piece of business first. So last episode, I challenged all of you to send me some of your best pack openings on Twitter or Instagram using the hashtag Larry in the hole. And today I picked one lucky person. So this video from Instagram comes from Mirai a Tim 11, the unexpected and the excitement when he actually realizes what he has, that one in a million pack and that face, it just, it, it just brings joy. But without further ado, let's go ahead and watch it. Change that. Let's speak it into existence. Secret rare right here. High raid, Echo Crypt Prism, Codebreaker Zero Day, Evil Eye Reemergence. <gasps> I got it. I can just imagine that face. I got a Starlight Rare. I got a Starlight. I got a. I got a Starlight Rare. See, and there's that face. They're like, oh my goodness. That's really it. I can't believe it happened. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's really it. Excuse me, you're not expecting it, man. Yeah. If you want to see your video on the next episode of Larry and Ho, use the hashtag Larry and Ho on Instagram or Twitter. You should have a video of you. You can have your face in it if you want to be seen, but make sure that it shows you opening the pack and pulling the card out of the pack. That's very important, because some, I don't know where you got the card in, it has to be authentic. But let's get into my pack openings now. Starting out first, we're doing our two Genesis Impact. I don't think there's a lot in here I need, per se. Um, just like some of the super expensive cards would be nice. Um, I only have one Dry Nova, so I would get another one, you know. I get to play two now. First pack. Let's set the tone right. Invoke Megalancia. Come, what? Oh. Uh, from Trail Hat Trigger. Evil Twin, I've, I, I think Chris and I have both started building Evil Twins. I think Chris yesterday completed his deck. I wanna say he did. And I'm like, got for, I think I've completed mine too. But I think he got all the fancy uh, collector's rare cards for his and I'm broke, so I'm just rocking with the old Ultras. And, ooh, that's a nice one. 
Evil Twin Kisa kills an Ultra. Um, I always, I think I pulled this last episode of Larry in the Hole, didn't I? Yeah, I feel like you actually did. Huh. See, them lollies, they just love me. Do you prefer when they have the uh, the hollow card in the back or in the middle? I think they should always be in the back. Mm -hmm. Bottomless trap hole. Um, gamma. Live twin channel. That's you. World Lance. GG Easy. Herald of Ultimus. And, ooh, a live twin Kisa kill. So I got the adult version and the chibi version. Now, to the main set, the Blazing Vortex. Uh, you're, in, you're in a rock and a hard place. Mm. Spriggan's Call. That thing. Stop giving us bad pendulum monsters. I want the Electromite back. Um, Star Regulator. Spriggan's whatever. Ooh, a tri Brigade Kit. Another important card to their like archetype and play style. And this, Ojama Pink. All right. I don't want that. I want Electromite. It's crazy mm -hmm. they gave those cards and then didn't give Electromite back. Yeah. Dual Avatar. Dream Mirror. Ooh. Perf uh, Parametal Foles. I'm not even going to try to say that. Spriggins. Okay. Ooh. Spriggins Bragna, Ice Breeze, Fabled. Another one, Metal Foles Vanisher. I don't know what these new Metal Foles uh, Pendulum Monsters do. It's almost not worth reading them if you don't have a lecture, mate. There, it's not. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You're probably not going to see it, are you? Yeah, no one really plays them, it's unfortunate. They even printed more than it goes from the do you, past, th do you yeah. think Electromite is just not, it's just too strong or? I think they just don't like it. They don't like Pendulums existing. Then why'd they make them? A big mistake, Active I guess. Arm Dragon. Like, again, like this deck, this trap is horrible. Fable, Mimilola, Spriggan's Call, Spriggan's Watch. Um, this and some other stuff. Second to the last one. Let's see. Actually, the, well, you play this in Rika, don't you? Yeah, that's It's cool. a very important part for you. Dogmatica Genesis, this thing. Reinforcement of the Army Troops. EMR? Irma? Should be on the machine, then target one card in the field for every. Huh, sure. last one. All right, hold on, wait. How many is it from the back? I have no idea. Do you, I mean, I know Pokemon's got that. I'm gonna say this one. Okay, let's hope. Let's hope. Forgive me, this is my, not my first time, my first time doing it like that. Spriggan's Call, this thing, Star Regulator, Spriggan's Verona, I think I was right. Uh, Dream Mirror Eraser, Travigate Rendezvous, Synchro transformation, transmission, and well, radiant and ooh, S Force Justify. Another good, well, I won't say good ultra. It's an ultra. I've been building S Force. I was having a conversation with somebody else at the local shop yesterday too, because we were both building S Force, but we have no idea what to do with them because they just they do a lot, but none of it helps you win the game. So, walking into the store today, I was negative one dollar in the hole, um, spent 30. All they had was six packs, I'm sorry. Um, but let's see what I plussed. So, Evil Twin Kisa Kills, about $14. S-Force Justified, Tropicate Kit, and Live Twin Kisa Kill are about one dollars each. Puts me at negative 14. Um, not bad, I'm not worried about it yet. Um, so I'm sure if a lot of you have followed this for a long time, you know it can get pretty bad. Of course, next episode, we got those spooky ghosts from the past. They're not spooky, that's weird. Why didn't they put uh, ghost tricks in Ghosts of the Past? Ah, uh, whatever. But ghost rares, bunch of high value cards, 
you can bet that's gonna be a blast. But as always, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Um, don't forget about that challenge. Make sure to tag hashtag Larry in the hole on Instagram and Twitter so that I can see all of your good pools. I've been Larry. This has been Larry in the hole. I'll see y'all next time.